Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome to... Yes, I'm sure you're familiar with this view. This is Lone Oak Farm by Bullet Bill, converted to for Farm Sim 19 by Oxygen David. As you all know, those of you who have been watching my channel for some time, you know that I did not get a chance to play uh, Lone Oak Farm for Farm Sim 17. It came out right about the end of Farm Sim 17's life. And I was pretty gung-ho in making the jump to um, making the jump to Farm Sim 19, as many of you were as well. And so I sort of figured, well, you know, this map is obviously a very popular map. It will make its way to Farm Sim 19 at some point in time. And I'll get the opportunity to play that. Kind of like Thornton Farm ended up making its way. I never played Thornton Farm in Farm Sim 15. And I, I believe it was a Farm Sim 15 map that eventually made its way to Farm Sim uh, to 17. Anywho, um, you know, I had started the series out on Great Smoky Mountain. And that map has some issues. Um, it has some issues visually. Um, and it has some some issues physically as well I do believe course play just does not want to get along with that map at all and for those of you again who watch my who watch my videos and watch my channel you know that while I don't overdo the use of course play necessarily I do enjoy using it while I sort of move my story line and everything along or move my gameplay along so with that said and I do understand that um, you're going to see there's a whole lot of Lone Oak Farm uh, series, I'm sure, on YouTube. I haven't searched them out. Um, I've only watched a few videos from Lone Oak Farm on Farm Sim 17. And, um, but, you know, we all do things differently. And I know that my dear friend Eustace Farmer is going to be uh, gearing up to do some videos on, on, uh, Oak, on Lone Oak Farm for Farm Sim 19. And hopefully he will not get upset at me for um, starting a series on 19 on Lone Oak Farm. But he and I do such a different, we have such a different way of doing things. And uh, his stuff is truly far better than mine can ever be. Uh, he puts so much uh, additional work and everything into his videos. And so anyway, um, this map reminds me of... Well, it sort of reminds me of my grandfather, my father's dad. A lone oak tree standing here high on the hill. There's no telling how long, how old this tree actually is. And um, standing strong, determined, uh, very much like my grandfather. And that red barn down there, which we're going to go by in just a few minutes, that is um, just like the red barn that was on my granddad's farm back in East Texas. So... Um, we're going to, obviously, I'm going to, to basically cease production on Great Smoky Mountain, uh, effective immediately. Basically, I was all set to record an episode, episode number three on Great Smoky Mountain and Lone Oak Farm came out. And to be quite honest with you all, um, I, I, regret, I regret starting the series on Great Smoky Mountain. And, you know, timing is everything, I suppose they say. And... Um, one of the one of the things that I had thought about, uh, I had put some thought into all of this when I re, when I sort of restarted my channel. I didn't think that Lone Oak Farm was going to be coming out when it did. When I had, right before I started my channel, I had heard that Lone Oak Farm had uh, been submitted to Giants and uh, had some errors and basically got kicked back. And so I guess Oxygen David got those errors fixed really really quick. And uh, here, boy. Um, and so, uh, so here we are. So here we are. So I'm not going to give you a map tour. I will kind of fill you in on what the type of equipment it is that we're using and how we're using it and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, right now we're in the process of slaying, of slaying, spraying, um, spraying slurry on field number 41, which is a grass field. There's tons of grass fields on this map and certainly uh, plenty of uh, for us to, uh, to to do what we need to do as far as gra grass 
uh, hay silage purposes and all that good kind of stuff. So uh, that's kind of what we're going to do. I was up at the Lone Oak uh, farm, I, or Lone Oak tree up there. I went up there to uh, have a sandwich. Uh, I like to go up there and, uh, and have lunch. And we're going to go ahead and get started on this far side over here. I am running um, GPS. GPS recently. Uh, within the last few days made its way into the mod hub and so hopefully I've got this set right so let me turn this guy on and drop her down and I think GPS is is going so yes look ma no hands um, hope everyone is having a wonderful wonderful day um, today in the real world it is Saturday it's the 21st of September and my wife and I uh, spent a incredibly incredibly good day up in Estes Park in Rocky Mountain National Park um, yesterday we went up there for her birthday and I uh, had thought about doing the weekend thing uh, a few well a few months ago I guess I thought about doing the weekend thing but we have honestly spent so much money uh, this year with the trip to Europe and uh, some other things and, and we just decided that you know, uh, we would just make a day out of it, and we have some things that we need to do kind of here in town, um, and to kind of get caught up on on some of the you know stuff that we haven't been able to get done, and uh, some other some other fun things that we plan to do as well this weekend, and so um, so we just decided not to uh, not to go up there and make the weekend out of it. We've got plenty of time to do stuff like that, but. Um, I'm sure many others are going to be playing um, this map. Uh, I'm sure many of you who watch my channel are probably um, set up and in playing this map on your own, maybe off, you know, off camera if you're not uh, if you're not doing the YouTube thing. Hopefully, we've got our stuff here lined up. And um, yeah, so you know, I'd like to like to know how you're getting on with it. Did you if if you played in Farm Sim 17? Lone Oak Farm. What do you think about the 19 version? Now, I have no. I honestly downloaded it in Farm Sim 17, but I never, I never activated it, and I never took a look around. Um, again, through, I would say a fault because I'm not planning on making that mistake again. Uh, I'm not planning on dropping Farm Sim 19 to jump to Farm Sim 21 if that's going to be um, the next you know the next iteration and history tells us that it possibly will be I'm not gonna just basically um, drop everything that I'm doing in 19 to go to 21 I, I will I will most likely purchase 21 unless I you know unless I'm hearing that it's going to be a flop or something uh, I will plan on purchasing 21 just like I have done with 17 and with 19 but I will not be um, I will not basically be abandoning um, Farm Sim 19 to immediately move over to uh, to 21 or 19 to move to 21. Um, just simply because it takes so long. I mean, uh, as you all know, and there's there's really no need in, in rehashing a lot of this stuff because I've talked about it enough times, but. You know that for me, there was two or three patches, maybe yeah, three patches. I think that it took from Giants to get my steering to work correctly. And it's you know it's spot on, almost spot on now. I I, I can launch the game occasionally when the steering's locked up, but um, that is kind of few and far between. But anyway, um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that with um, you know with 21, whenever that happens to come out. I guess you know the fall time frame of the year 2020. Um, we'll just you know we'll just buy it, download it, install it, take a look around, and uh, and everything, but not necessarily plan on automatically making that move. But again, kind of back to what I was saying, I did not. Uh, I really didn't spend any time on this map with 17. And as a result of that, I could not honestly tell you if it's better or if it's worse. Now, all things being considered, there are there are some differences between Farm Sim 17 and obviously Farm Sim 
um, 19 with regards to the sound and the lighting and stuff like that. I, I'm kind of curious as to uh, as to you know if you think that this map is better um, in 19 or if it's actually uh, if it's actually worse in in 19 than it was in 17. Now I know that um, my good friend Duck Zorley, Duck Zorley Gaming, and if you're not a subscriber of his channel. Um, take a look down below this video screen at my show notes and you'll find a link to his channel. He is of the opinion that the version for Farm Sim 17 was certainly better visually and stuff. So there are some differences though. I, I, I um, as I said, I haven't watched any videos of folks playing Farm Sim, uh, this map and Farm Sim 19. Um, I watched some in Farm Sim 17. I watched Eustace Farmer's stuff when he released it way back when, and I rewatched it again. Uh, he posted a link out on Discord, um, basically letting folks know that if they want to kind of catch themselves up on what this map is all about, to basically watch his videos, and he was going to pick up uh, where he left off. And that's that's another reason why, you know, I, I really don't think that that uh, Atomic Gaming 67 is going to be is going to be upset at me uh, for um, for starting up a let's play on this map because he does again he does things so much different than I do um, and his storylines and everything are 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 um, well they're Hollywood quality uh, the content that he puts into this stuff anyway. Um, yeah, so let me know. Let me know what your what your thoughts are between between the versions. Now, um, obviously, we're we're sort of playing this map as if we've been here for a while. Um, you know, I'm I just don't um, for each their own. There's no right or wrong way to play this game, um, but I don't really like to start every single map as the star star the starving farmer. The you know basically play it with you know, a hundred thousand dollars or whatever, and and break my break my back to try to uh, keep from breaking my bank. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I encourage folks to at least do that once, uh, kind of with each maybe with each version or whatever. I think I did it so many times in in the farm sim 15 days because remember, uh, as I've said before, I played farm sim 15 for quite a long time before I ever before I ever added a mod to the game and there were a lot of times where I didn't I really didn't know about being able to go in and edit XML files and stuff like that so I, I really I really played it um, I really played it I suppose as it was intended to be and I think it was um, I think there was even I think I was into mods we're just going to do this strip here so that we don't have a gap in our in our fertilizing um, I think I was into mods before I ever uh, reached a point to where that I sort of cheated money into my gameplay because, you know, if you remember, if you played Farm Sim 15 or if you still do, and I, I know that some of you still do, my, my buddy Chris Webb uh, still plays Farm Sim 15 for uh, the ability to uh, play with the soil mod, but, um, you know, you know that uh, in Farm Sim 15, uh, the BGA... And selling silage was uh, was big money, and so I had a, a little bit unrealistic. But you know, uh, again, I go back to say that there's no right or wrong way to play it. I had a I had a Corona um, forage harvester, which had a uh, which had basically a, uh, a capacity to it. I think it was you know, hundred thousand liters or something like that, and so it it worked almost like a combine in the sense that uh, you could forge along uh, corn for example chop chop corn into chaff it would it would store you know 50 70 thousand liters whatever the capacity was maybe maybe it was a hundred thousand it might not have been that high but anyway it would it would store that and then you could send your tractors along either manually or um, or via course play and um, an empty them okay so that was that was uh, let's I'll tell you what let's go uh, let's go load this guy up 
So we'll fold him up. Uh, and we'll go and, and fill up the slurry. So anyway, uh, I know that was sort of cheating in that respect because a forage, har a forage harvester like that doesn't have a capacity. So you've got to run a, a tractor and tipper or an auger wagon or something alongside of that um, that apparatus. But I was just I was just getting started, and I was, you know, again, really didn't know a whole lot about uh, some of this equipment, and so. Um, I could I could basically do I could plant a few fields of corn and of course again this was before the seasons mod and also this was before my time of starting to play with the soil mod so I could plant several fields of corn and basically harvest those send the chaff to the BGA let it ferment sell the chaff at the BGA and make hundreds of thousands of dollars and then buy the equipment that I wanted to use on the map so uh, fun stuff, right? So, um, but you know, in the days of farms, later in my days of Farm Sim 15, and certainly in 17 and, and 19, I, I learned about um, editing the XML files and putting your money in. And of course, now there's mods that that help facilitate uh, some of that as well. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, everybody should everybody should consider uh, doing it that way uh, once. And I don't know if this uh, I don't know if this is going to line up. Uh, correctly with uh, with GPS, and of course I've got to remember to turn turn my my pump on there. And are we? We must be pumping, but it's probably this may not be uh, this may not be the grass for for that. So we'll get up here, and then we'll lock our GPS in. And we'll let it go this course so we create a straight line over on this left hand side. But anyway, um, looks like we're now spraying slurry. So what we're going to do is, again, we, we kind of started with uh, an existing farm. Uh, Billy Bob and Jack will be around at, at different stages. Right now I don't have any hired workers running at the same time, but they do work really well. I have been uh, uh, putting some lime down on some of these fields and have not had any problems at all with course play. And of course, if you guys watched first and second video of Great Smoky Mountain, you know that I was having some challenges with course play. So that's not happening now. And um, so I'm going to be using slurry at least for our grass fields. We'll, we'll determine uh, at a later date what we're going to do for our grain fields. We are going to be uh, most likely planting uh, wheat. Um, we're going to be planting uh, uh, some, maybe some canola, uh, some corn, and um, and maybe something else that, that, and of course you all know that this map takes place in Oregon. Um, Oregon is, um, not only is it popular for potatoes like Idaho is, but also sugar beets. Um, sugar beets is, um, is, a, is a big crop up here. And I believe to a certain extent so are um, uh, so are soybeans. So um, I think right now the, the plan will be wheat, corn, uh, canola, and maybe uh, maybe some sugar beets on, on a field. And, um, and if we get an opportunity to double plant uh, some stuff then, then maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll put soybeans down on the fields that we've planted wheat on. And we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, I am running the Midwest Geo. Um, I do realize that a Idaho, not an, not an Idaho, an Oregon Geo did come out. Um, I don't know if I'm too far along. I'm still in the first game day. I'm playing nine game days per season. I'm not sure if I'm too far along to, uh, uh, to basically uh, change the Geos out. Um, but the, the Oregon Geo was not available at the time that I started setting up uh, Lone Oak Farm. And so um, I'm concerned. I'm concerned that, you know, I'm too far along to change the geos out. I don't think, and I don't know, it's, I don't know precisely geographically exactly where uh, Lone Oak Farm is located in the real world in Oregon where geographically it's it's located within the map of Oregon, within the state of Oregon. I'm not 100% not certain. So I, I'm sure that the weather 
is slightly different from the Midwest, but it's not going to be, because uh, I looked at Montana, uh, I looked at actually using the Montana Geo, but I think that that would be, that would be much, I think the Midwest, as far as what I'm trying to do, is going to be more accurate than what the Montana Geo would be if I were to, if I were to basically use that. So I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I think, I think everything's going to be all right. There's no right or wrong way again to play. Um, we, we do what we do for the reasons that we do it. Something my, my dad used to tell me a long time ago is, son, don't ever do anything that you don't want to do. Uh, time is precious. And I know that, you know, I know that firsthand because kind of going back to my, my family situation, the loss of my mom, um, you know, that, that has, that has certainly shown me that, uh, and my wife, because my wife lost her mom this year as well, that, you know, life is precious. Life is short. We can get one shot at this and, and we can, we can do the things, you know, we can do anything we want to. Um, God has given us free will to, to, to be able to do that. But, um, we can also, we can also choose to do the things that make us happy. And that was another reason why I went onto this map was because this map is just, it's perfect. It's perfect in every sense. Um, it, it works. It works well. It works with course play. It's beautiful. Uh, despite, you know, the differences that there may be between the Farm Sim 15, Farm Sim 17 version and Farm Sim 19 versions, despite those differences, um, I believe it's still a beautiful, beautiful map. And, um, I'm just, I'm glad to have the opportunity to play it, and um, I'm glad to have the opportunity to put it on my channel. And of course, I could have played this map offline. I'll tell you a little bit about me, something about me is that, you know, if I play a map, um, off camera especially, I would much prefer to go ahead and and, uh, and play it, and play it on camera for, for everyone, simply because, um, you know, if I enjoy a map so much that I'm wanting to put it on my channel, then I'm also, in the limited amount of time that I have, then I want to make sure that I can, can play that map, play the game. Um, running a, a map I used to back in the, back in the fifth, well, back in the 17 days, uh, I used to have an offline map that I play, and I would have my online maps that I put on my channel, the Let's Plays I put on my channel, and I would have the offline stuff that I would do. But, as I'm so busy now with things that, um, you know, if I were to, for example, if I were to have put this and considered this to just simply be offline only, I know what would happen. I would spend so much time playing this map that I would neglect the map that I had chosen, whether it be Smoky Mountain or whatever other map. I would neglect that. And as a result, my channel would suffer. Um, I don't run my, I sort of highlighted on this um, before, but I don't, I don't run my channel to ensure that I have maximum viewers and maximum subscribers and all of that. I consider, you know, the subscribers that I have to be my friends and I'm okay if I add more subscribers, but I'm not chasing, I'm not chasing any numbers. I'm not chasing 1,600 or 17 or 2,000 or, or 10,000. Um, if it happens, it happens. Uh, if it happens, you know, if it takes another three or four years to hit 2,000 subscribers, that's fine with me. That's okay with me. Yes, I'm monetizing my videos, um, but um, for those of you who know anything about YouTube monetization, you know that that's very little money. And, um, you know, I will... That kind of goes along to kind of help offset uh, some of the costs with my blog site and things like that. Um, yes, I enjoy having my blog site. I enjoy being able to host my 
my mod spreadsheet and stuff like that. And also, um, at some point in time, uh, whenever some folks submit some mods to me, uh, I'm still planning on hosting mods on uh, on my website, on my web server, uh, so that folks like CCS 101 has a place to uh, to host his mods, in that you know you all can download without having to worry about catching uh, a computer virus or malware or just you know the hassle of having to deal with you know uploaded.net. I mean, my God, I hate that site. I, mean, I occasionally have to use it because occasionally I will find a mod that I just absolutely don't think that I can live without and I will I will download it and I will you know I will I will put it into my mods um, but it it just every time I see that there's a mod that's out there that somebody has used uploaded.net I just think to myself my god I mean there are so many other options and um, you know there's a reason why some people don't want to use giants um, maybe they don't want to have to comply with all the with all the requirements I mean there there are quite a few requirements I suppose that that one has to one has to undergo to uh, to be able to put their mods on giant and if they don't want to do that then you know they don't they don't want to do that and um, oops I forgot about that every time every time you uh, bring your HUDs back on the screen it shuts off your it lifts your uh, your your implement whatever that might be anyway um, all right well ladies and gentlemen we're coming up on 26 27 minutes and I like to keep things uh, around 25 to 30 so again that's the plan uh, we're gonna just Play this map here and trudge along here on Lone Oak Farm and have fun on this wonderful, beautiful map. I hope that you all are having a wonderful weekend. I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video edited, so it is possible that you may not see this video until Monday because my wife has a still a fairly long honeydew list that I'm trudging through. I know many of you guys know that, know about uh, honeydew lists and everything. You also know the saying that a happy wife is a happy life and I will leave you with that and say God bless you all thanks for watching thanks for understanding and I'll see you for episode number two right here on Lone Oak Farm talk to you later bye bye for now